what's up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel hi hello i'm lydia what up today i'm heading up to see beth and um, that's a whole vlog in itself look out for that seriously hello hi is that lydia yeah it is hi lydia my name's molly i'm calling from attic in Wrexham. oh hi yeah hi okay we do have your passport they have a passport, meaning I can go out and get drunk. Don't let me drown. Today's video is about knowing yourself, knowing when you're getting bad again. Today I want to talk about the subject of relapse. And my videos over the past few months show what a relapse looks like because you could see me slowly getting worse and worse and worse and it just wasn't good. And today I'm here to tell you yeah, that is a normal process. It doesn't normally just click and you're bad. It can, don't get me wrong, but it usually takes time to relapse. I'm not talking about self-harm relapse. I'm not talking about eating disorder relapse. I'm talking about relapse with your mind. And what I mean by that is going from positive thinking to out of control which is a thing that's common with BPD and while my diagnosis has changed slightly I'm not going to get into that in this video when I say when your mind gets out of control what I mean is being impulsive reckless spending all your money drinking drug and just everything that you wouldn't normally want to do things that you're like oh I'm over that I'm gonna go for me I went from being suicidal to not suicidal I had a good good three months of not feeling suicidal then BAM I was suicidal and I hadn't realized that things had been building up in my head and then I ended up in hospital for a month I got myself stabilized and I want to talk about that process and what it feels like to me. So looking back on some of my older videos, I can see that I've got a lot less energy in them videos. And I remember that would be the only thing I'd do each day. I'd do my makeup, film a video, sit down in bed, get my pajamas on and upload. And that would be that day's test done. I wouldn't bother eating, I wouldn't bother going out, I'd maybe go to the vending machine and get a drink or go to Asda and get a drink. That'd be it. I wasn't really eating much. And you can see as the videos go on that I lose so much weight around my face. Given, still not happy with my weight, I'm not losing weight anymore. When it comes to my appearance, I started doing really nice, intense makeup, then it just stopped. Like, it slowly stopped. I used to do less and less and less and less and less. And then I didn't wear any. I hate the way I look. I'm upfront about the fact that I do not like the way in which I appear. Um, so, not wearing makeup made me not want to film too much. I was only really vlogging when I went out with friends. I was doing cinematic stuff. I didn't want to be on camera. And my anxiety took over. That just got worse and worse and worse. Everything just slowly got worse and worse and worse. I didn't notice it until I hit the point which is common among people with BPD none of us noticed the switches we don't know how much our emotions change and this I found out literally by editing my own video so as you guys probably know I made a video documenting the month that I spent in hospital and in that I saw my mood flip and like one day to the next just and I didn't think so at the time I thought my mood was working normally I wasn't and I can say now that I've come out of hospital I'm not suicidal which is a big thing to say. I have to say that. It's that is the important thing for me. Because my life matters and I'm happy to be alive. Like I don't want to die. I got everything built up so much that I thought I, I did and I tried to. And when it came to going into hospital, I went involuntarily, but I also didn't really understand why I was going in until I was there. And I started talking to another patient and she changed my perspective on things. And Kay offered an amazing amount of support, Beth, amazing amount of support, Jordan, amazing amount of support. My three closest friends were support as hell. Emma texted me now and then. I don't know where I'd be without you guys. I literally don't. Everyone I know now, I've met free YouTube. I don't have any like IRL friends. Like everyone I've met is through my social media, which is a big thing to say really. And I know I'm not a big YouTuber, which is why I make friends with people so easily I think. Back on the subject of relapsing, it didn't feel good. When I hit rock bottom I didn't like it. I don't, I didn't enjoy being suicidal because it was all I was thinking about. I was thinking I would walk in a room and find everything I could do within seconds. In A&E &E, I had four security people and the police stood by the door because they thought I was going to try and run away. They removed me from my flat under the Mental Capacity Act which I'm going to make a whole video talking about because it's completely different to the mental health act but police stood at the door the security stood at the end of the bed 
Then there was me sat there having a panic attack, wanting to leave. And believe me, I tried. I know I'm a little, but I can put up a bit of a fight. Don't get me wrong, I also got dragged back in that room very quickly. Um, can't take on six people. The importance of recognising that it happened is so important when it comes to recovering. Because when I was doing one-to-one -to, -one to people, they was asking me, do you know why you're here? And at the start, I was like, I just got a bit down, who cares? And they kept saying, you tried to kill yourself in quite an extreme way. And then it got to like the third week, I want to say, where it really hit home. And I was like, I literally tried to do it. And I was actually on a one-to-one -one at the time where I, I had this little moment and I asked the person who was sitting with me, I was like, things got bad, didn't they? And she had a nice conversation with me. I cried, I know, I have emotions. And that recognition that I'd got bad was what pushed me to do better. Since then, I've been doing exposure therapy and I'm gonna make a video talking about that. I've done little things to help myself and I'm now going on a weekend trip to see Beth that was planned last night. If you want to talk about impulsive, Beth is the definition. Beth is the definition of impulsive, literally. Like, she was really drunk as well and she booked, she got me to book train tickets and book a hotel room. It was very fast paced, for lack of a better word. As long as I get a seat, I don't really care because it means I can edit this while I'm on the go. I'll be happy. Like, I can happily watch stuff on my hard drive. I want to just make this video to say that relapsing isn't okay, but it happens to the best of us. Like, I know a few people who are going through a lot at the moment. I know a few people who have recently made pretty serious attempts on their own life. And that is because of this channel. I've spoken to people who are going through so much and my heart literally hurts when I read messages. I read every message I get. Some of them are triggering, I'm not gonna lie, but some of them are so far beyond anything and my heart really does go out to these people. Like, to me, you guys aren't viewers. You are my friends. I will just have to sit like this. So, what I want to say in this video is that you are important and if you're going through something right now, reach out for support. There are so many helplines, I know helplines aren't the best, where they help in that immediate moment because you can talk through what you're thinking. And if they phone the police, they phone the police because there's an immediate risk to yourself. Don't kick off if they do that. Like, while having police turn up and kick down your door or whatever is horrible, believe me. If it needs to happen, it needs to happen. Like, Jordan is the one who phoned the police for me that day when I got put, taken to hospital. It was Jordan who phoned them and all I have to say to Jordan at that time is thank you because I wouldn't be here without like what Jordan did for me. Relapse is inevitable. It You can't expect to have like a period run of things. I think if you expect that it just sets you up for failure. If you expect to and keep on working on yourself you're actually less likely to relapse. And if you do relapse it's okay you can come back from it. And that's been the one thing I've learned. I was after that attempt, I was like, how the fuck can I get back to where I was? How can I get back to making positive videos that people want to watch rather than me just crying at a camera? And then I thought, I'll share the experience. I will be honest and real. That's what I do. I do share my real life with you guys. And what I'm doing here is explaining to you what really happened and what relapses are and how long of a process it was for me. My PTSD got worse and worse and worse as time went on to a point where I couldn't cope with it anymore. My anxiety was out of control. My depression was at an all-time low. And the BPD kicks in and it's like, oh, let's try and kill ourselves. Boom. Like, that's what the point I got to. And I share that with you knowing that there's other people going through it. And if you're going through it, I'm here. I, you can message me on anything and I'll answer as soon as I can. I try and answer every message I get. I, it's a bit hard sometimes, but I do try. Um, I think that's all I've got for this video. Thank you for watching this video, and like I said in my last video, it is great to be back making videos for you. I've missed it. That whole month of not doing it, I missed it. Like, I, I had little clips to edit. I didn't have, like, videos to edit or anything. I got really bored, and I've missed you. So thank you for sticking by me, and thank you for being awesome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new, and if you like me, maybe give me a little thumbs up. Take a little bit. Then the bell, it goes ding. It doesn't actually go ding, don't sue me. And you can have a free invisible cookie. Correcto. Correcto confirmo. Sounds like a hard pass spell. I'm gonna go. Bye.